championship fight between John Jones and Robert Whittaker. While the road to middleweight Golden Glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, he'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, this is one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist since going up to 185 has truly found his group. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Jones is four years the elder. He will have an 11 inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting the challenger, Robert Whitaker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, John Bones! John! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Who's going to be the one 
that's going to control where this fight takes place. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful strike. He's going after the head. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Jones gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whitaker gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And they separate. Jones has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. With it. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. There's no kill on that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Got the single collar tie. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponents on wobbly legs. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. So look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones versus that man, Robert Whittaker. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Johnny Bone. Big kick. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Jones going for the head kick. He misses there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 30 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Just below 50% now, landing with 47% accuracy against Robert Whittaker. Just misses with the punch. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the... Right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Good body shot. Oh, a huge block there. Big call for what's land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single call of guy here. And they separate. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Oh, great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, he'll engage in a single follow right, right there. Beautiful transition. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fish. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Watch the punch. You take more of these leg kicks. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, here we go with this third round of this. this oh, snaps his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. He's done. He's done. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Out of range with that one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, we're getting to finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. by submission, beautifully executed there on the board. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.
right, so there's the man. They're all chasing at 185 pounds. The undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. And the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So there he is, the man of the hour. He came in the champion, and he's going home with hardware as well. Congrats to the still UFC middleweight champion. The middleweight champion of the world. His name and that title seems to run in the same breath because it just fits. Over and over, he takes on the best fighters in this division, and he gets the job done. Congratulations.